let's start with the Anti-Violence Against Women and Their Children Act of 2004 or Republic Act number 9262. Jurisprudence described Republic Act number 9262 as a landmark legislation defining and criminalizing acts of violence against women and their children perpetrated by women's intimate partners. According to the court, the law provides for protection orders from the barangay and the courts to prevent the commission of further acts of violence against women and their children. The law also outlines the duties and responsibilities of barangay officials, law enforcers, prosecutors and court personnel, social workers, healthcare providers, and other government officials in responding to complaints or requests for assistance. What is the concept of violence against women and their children about? Violence against women and their children refers to physical, sexual, psychological, or economic abuse committed by a person against a woman who is his wife or former wife or with whom he has or had a sexual or dating relationship or with whom he has a common child or against her child, whether legitimate or illegitimate, aged below 18 years or aged 18 years or older, but incapable of taking care of himself or herself. Women and children who are victims of violence are also referred to under the law as victims survivors. Jurisprudence teaches that the victim survivor need not necessarily be the wife or former wife. She could be any woman whom the offender has or had a sexual relationship or dating relationship. Whether the sexual or dating relationship had ceased is immaterial for as long as there is sufficient evidence showing the past or present existence of such relationship between the offender and the woman victim survivor when the physical harm was committed. A sexual relationship can exist even if there was only a single sexual act, regardless of whether it resulted in the bearing of a common child. A dating relationship neither refers to casual acquaintance nor to ordinary socialization in a business or social context. It refers to a situation where the parties live as husband and wife without the benefit of marriage or are romantically involved over time and on a continuing basis. The dating relationship contemplated under the law can exist even without a, uh, a sexual intercourse taking place between those involved. The law did not use the colloquial verb romance that implies a sexual act. Neither did it state that the offender must have romanced the woman victim survivor. Rather, it used the noun romance to describe a couple's relationship that is a love affair. Remember that violence against uh, victim survivors is not confined to physical violence. It also includes sexual violence, psychological violence, or economic abuse. Violence refers to any act or a series of acts committed by any person against victims, survivors. Jurisprudence teaches that the law does not require that the violence must be repeatedly done in order it to be punishable. The object of the law is to promote the protection and safety of victim survivors. Limiting punishment to repeatedly committed violence would license isolated ones. Physical violence is the infliction of bodily harm. It could be in the form of battery, assault, coercion, harassment, or arbitrary deprivation of liberty. Sexual violence can be in the form of rape, sexual harassment, acts of lasci uh, lasciviousness, treating the victim survivor as a sex object, making demeaning and sexually suggestive remarks, physically attacking the sexual parts of the body, forcing the victim survivor to watch obscene publications 
and in decent shows or do in decent acts or make films thereof. Forcing the woman, victim survivor, and a mistress or lover to, li to live in the conjugal home or sleep together in the same room with the abuser or offender. Acts causing or attempting to cause the victim survivor to engage in any sexual activity by force, threat of force, physical or other harm, or threat of physical or other harm or coercion, or prostituting the victim survivor. Psychological violence refers to acts or omissions causing or likely to cause mental or emotional suffering of the victim survivor, such as intimidation, harassment, damage to property, public ridicule or humiliation, repeated verbal abuse, marital infidelity, causing or allowing the victim survivor to witness the physical, sexual, or psychological abuse of a member of the family to which the victim sur uh, survivor belongs, pornography in any form, or abusive injury to pets, unwanted deprivation of the right to custody and or visitation of common children, or stalking. Economic abuse refers to acts that are intended to make the victim survivor financially dependent, such as withdrawal of financial support, preventing the woman victim survivor from engaging in any legitimate profession, occupation, business, or activity, except when the same is based on valid, serious, and moral grounds as defined in Article 73 of the Family Code of the Philippines. Deprivation or threat of deprivation of financial resources, including the right to the use and enjoyment of the conjugal community or property owned in common. Destroying household property or controlling the victim survivor's own money or properties or solely controlling the conjugal money or properties. The remedies available to victim survivors are as follows. Criminal action, criminal action with the reservation of a special civil action, civil action for damages or protection order without claiming damages. The significant area that I want you to remember insofar as labor law is concerned is the leave for victims of violence. Victim survivors are entitled to a paid leave of absence up to 10 days in addition to other paid leaves under the Labor Code of the Philippines and the Civil Service Rules and Regulations. The period for the leave of absence may be extended when the necessity arises as specified in the protection order. The leave is non-cumulative and non-convertible to cash if unused. The employer or agency head who denies the application for leave and who shall prejudice the victim survivor or any person assisting the, the co-employee who is a victim survivor shall be held liable for discrimination and violation of the law. To be entitled to the leave for victim survivors, the following conditions must be complied with. The employee victim survivor must present a certification from the Punong Barangay or Kagawad prosecutor or the clerk of court, as the case may be, that a case for violence against women and their children is pending, and the availment of the 10-day leave shall cover only the days when she has to attend to medical and legal concerns. <laughs> 